Assalamualaikum Hi guys So today we continue topic 2 We will focus on measures of dispersion So at the end of this subtopic You will be able to understand the concepts of data dispersion Second, to calculate range, interquartile range, quartile division, standard division and a variance and last one, you will be able to calculate coefficient of variation and interpret its meaning. So let's look at the introduction. Measures of dispersion used to describe how data is scattered from central value means that the larger the dispersion, the wider the data is scattered. So, we will focus on four measurements. First one is range, denoted with capital R. Means the difference between the largest and the smallest value in the data set. Second one is interquartile range, IQR. Means that the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile values in the data set. Third one is quartile deviation, denoted by QD, known as semi interquartile range that based on 50% of the distribution and the remaining 50% are ignored. And last one here is standard deviation, denoted by S or variance denoted by S squared. So this one measures how a data is spread out from its mean. First example based on ungrouped data, the marks scored by its students in examination. How to calculate range for ungrouped data? Largest value minus smallest value. So from the data set, Identify the largest value, 88, smallest value, 44. So the difference between the largest and the smallest value from the data set equal to 44. Second, interquartile range, IQR. So previous example, you have calculated Q3 and Q1 using same example. Q3 equal to 81.5 and Q1 equal to 59.25. Therefore, IQR equal to the difference between Q3 and Q1, which is 22.25. Third one is quartile deviation. So, quartile deviation Q3 minus Q1 then divide by 2. So using same values of Q1 and Q3, therefore QD equal to 11.125. Okay, next, how to calculate standard deviation? So using this formula, you need to calculate and so, n number of data. Next, summation of x squared, summation of x. So, n number of data, 8 students. Summation of x squared here means that 88 squared plus 71 squared plus 60 squared till 59 squared. And then summation of x, 88 plus 71 plus 60 plus 44 up to plus 59. So calculate and substitute 8. Summation of x squared, 40720. Summation of x, 560. Calculate at the end. Standard deviation equal to 14.6483 Okay, let's say you want to calculate the variance. So, variance as squared. Substitute and 
summation of x squared, summation of x, then at the end, variance from this data set equal to 214.5714. Or, you can calculate the variance from the standard deviation value. So, 14.6483 squared. So this one, how to calculate the measures of dispersion value for ungrouped data. Okay now, so we will focus on measures of dispersion for ungrouped data with frequency. So first, range, largest value minus smallest value, same as ungrouped data. So this one, where is x? Number of absent days. x. And then, number of students represent frequency. So, range calculated based on x. So, what is the largest value? 3. Smallest value? 0. Therefore, range equal to 3. Second, Interquartile range. Previous example, Q3 equal to 2, Q1 equal to 0. Therefore, interquartile range equal to 2 minus 0, 2. Next, quartile deviation. Q3 minus Q1 divide by 2. Therefore, quartile deviation for this example equal to 1. Next, how to calculate standard deviation denoted by S. So this one, we need the value of N, summation of Fx squared, and summation of Fx. So N calculated based on frequency, number of students. So, number of students equal to 66. So, N equal to 66. Then, summation of Fx squared. Frequency. So, frequency. First frequency value, 20. X squared. 0 squared. Plus 21. 1 squared. Plus. 15, 2 squared, plus 10, 3 squared. So that one, how to calculate? Summation Fx squared. Next, summation Fx. Summation Fx, recall back how you want to calculate mean using summation of Fx. So F 20 times 0 plus 21 times 1 plus 15 times 2 plus 10 times 3. Summation Fx squared. Summation Fx. So calculate. Substitute N equal to 66. Here. Next, summation of Fx squared equal to 171. Summation of Fx equal to 81. Therefore, standard deviation equal to 1.0495. So this one, how to calculate range, interquartile range, quartile deviation, and standard deviation for ungrouped data with frequency. Next, we proceed to group data. So, recall back group data, you must focus on this value. This one, 39, 40. Different, right? Therefore, you need to find class boundary so that this value is same. Okay, next, from the class boundary, you can calculate the midpoint value. So, midpoint calculated from 
class boundary lower class boundary plus upper class boundary divided by 2 okay so for measures of dispersion first how to calculate a range of value so this one different from ungrouped data and ungrouped data with frequency so for group data last upper class boundary minus first lower class boundary so this one last upper class boundary equal to 99.5 then first lower class boundary 29.5 therefore range equal to 70 next interquartal range q3 minus q1 same formula for each type of data q3 minus q1 so previous example measures of location q3 equal to 74.5 and q1 equal to 55.75 therefore interquartile range for this example equal to 18.75 same as quartile division we will use same formula q3 minus q1 divide by 2 substitute all the values at the end quartile deviation equal to 9.375 next standard deviation using the formula same as ungrouped data with frequency so here and summation of fx squared summation of fx so recall back previous example for ungrouped data with frequency how to calculate these values this one and this one so using this example when you calculate make sure you got summation of fx squared equal to 192441 and then summation of fx equal to 2848 and equal to 44 calculate at the end the standard deviation equal to 13.7229 so this one how to calculate the measures of dispersion using group data okay so this one we want to make a comparison based on dispersion of data distribution let's say group a and group b okay so look at here group a the mean value equal to 50 same as group b mean also equal to 50 but the standard deviation for group a equal to 7 meanwhile standard deviation for group b equal to 6 so using this example let's say first question which group is more consistent or which group is less dispersed so using the standard deviation value standard deviation value why because the mean value is same therefore we will focus on standard deviation so which group is more consistent we will focus on the smaller value of standard deviation therefore which group is more consistent or which group is less dispersed the answer is group b let's say which group is more dispersed or which group is less consistent 
is one larger standard deviation. So the answer is group A. Next example, group A and group B. Which group is more consistent? Which group is less dispersed? Same as example 15. Series 1, look at the mean value. So the mean value here equal to 54 for group A. But for group B, the mean value equal to 50. So this one, the mean of value for each group is different. Then, the standard deviation also differ. So how we want to identify or determine which group is more consistent? We can't use the standard deviation of value because the mean of value is different. Therefore, we will use coefficient of variation. So, CV calculated based on standard deviation divided by mean times 100. So, this one we will use if and only if two or more data sets have different values of measurement of mean and standard deviation. So, that we can identify or determine the dispersion or consistency of a data set. So here the same question. Which group is more consistent or which group is less dispersed? So this one, we will focus on smaller CV value. But... Which group is more dispersed or which group is less consistent? So this one, greater CV value. Means that the smallest value of coefficient of variation shows the data is less dispersed and the data is more consistent. Let's look at this example. Group A. Mean equal to 54, standard deviation equal to 7, while group B, mean equal to 51, and standard deviation equal to 6. The question is, which group is more consistent? First, calculate the coefficient of variation for each group. So, group A, 12.96%, group B, 11.76%. So, question here is, which group is more consistent? So, more consistent, we will focus on smaller CV value. So, which one is smaller? 11.76%. Therefore, group B is more consistent okay guys that's all about the measures of dispersion assalamualaikum